we will discuss about the addition of the two sparse matrices um, in this lecture we are considering that the there are two sparse matrices given and both the sparse matrices are of the same size meaning that the row and the column numbers are same and uh, for the addition of these two sparse matrices we have considered that these sparse matrices have been represented through the linked list this is the first linked list if you see uh, this is the first linked list first row first column element is 7 second row second column element is 4 third row second column element is 1 fourth row first column element is 3 for this one first row third column element is 6 second row second column element is 3 third row first column element is 1 fourth row first column element is 4 fourth row second column element is 8 fourth row third column element is 7 so we have represented these two matrices with the help of this uh, linked list and now we will add these two sparse matrices for the addition of these sparse matrices it is essential that we should take a third linked list also so let's say we have taken a third linked list which is initially null null means that it is not having any element any node at the beginning now for the addition of the matrix if the row number and the column number of two matrices are same then obviously meaning that if uh, if the row number of uh, this element and row number of another element will be same then only we'll be able to add okay since we have stored only the non zero elements so we need to check the row number and the column number of the other element of the other element in the other linked list fine so if the row number and the column numbers are equal then only we can add these those two elements now if, if we consider the addition of these this matrix only this is row number one and this is row number one these two have a match this is column number one and this is column number three this does not have a match right so obviously since row number is same and column number are not same the addition is not possible so what we will do that we will store this element as such in the third matrix because seven plus zero will be seven so in the answer link list the first node will be the seven so what we have uh, come to the conclusion uh, with this discussion up to now that if the row numbers are same and column number is smaller of any element then that element should be added to the final sparse matrix directly right so let's see if uh, let's compare this one right let's take a p here and let's take a q here so we are traversing with the help of p and q so p equals to list one and q equals to list two we will be traversing with the help of p and q now if p dot row is same as q dot row right so if p dot row is same as q dot row it means row numbers are equal the three possibilities now either the column numbers are equal fine if the column numbers are also equal if the row number is equal and column number is equal it means we will certainly have to add those two elements fine so if p dot column let's say col is representing the column is equal to q dot column it means the elements can be added so if the elements can be added let's say we are calling the insert end function and in this insert end function in the list tree we will input three parameters here one will be row number one will be column either you take the row and column of p or row or column of q doesn't make a difference because those of those are same and then p dot value plus q dot value or data and if you're taking the data you can write data if you're taking value you can say it is data it means this field is represented as row this is at column col and this at value and this as next so you have add, added the data items of two nodes and then i have inserted the third link list after this you need to update or advance p to go to the next node 
so p equals to p dot next and q2 to, to denote at the next node fine now if the row and the columns are equal we have done this if row is equal and column is also equal we've done this but let's say column is not equal so there are two possibilities now here let's say this is in a else in this else if i say that p dot column is less than q dot column if the column number of first matrix sorry first linked list element is less than the column number of second one then what we will do we will insert in the end of list 3 the p element fine here column number is less here column number is greater so whatever column number is less we will add that in the final linked list so p dot row p dot column and p dot value but if it, it is not true, it means that the column number is, uh, this column number is not smaller, fine. In that case, you will insert the smaller column element. It means the Q has a smaller column. So Q dot row and Q dot column and Q dot value. Right? So this is for same row and same column right same row then same column if not the same column whichever the column is smaller that element is added in the final linked list okay let's once again come to the example so this row uh, these row are equal column was not equal this column was smaller so we have updated this p to point at the second node so now in this case you see row numbers are not equal row numbers are not equal it means we are referring to this element in the first linked list and we are referring to this element in the second linked list so this element should have got added to the final linked list because 6 plus 0 will be 6 fine then we will come to the next element so since this row number is less so this less row number element will be added in the final linked list so an else here So for this if there is an else and in, the, in this else the row numbers are not equal so there are two possibilities either p dot row is less than q dot row or otherwise so if p dot row is less than q dot row then the element of p will be added in the final linked list so insertion in the end of list 3 p dot row p dot column fine p dot row p dot column and p dot value otherwise it means p dot row is not smaller q dot row is smaller so whichever is the smaller row will be added in the final link list so insertion in the end of link list 3 q dot row q dot column and q dot value fine so if the row numbers were equal we have done this if row numbers were not equal we have done this fine now let's say we have seen all the possibilities means this is for this is for the one time comparison comparison will be done by the time we have the nodes in both the links so while p is not null and q is not null will keep on doing this so while p is not null and q is not null we will be doing this but let's say after the addition of few elements let's say let's go one step step by step here this element row number equal column number is not equal this column number is smaller so this element will be added in the final link list so i'm not doing the notations just like this 117 is added in the final link list now we have advanced this one these two are compared for this the column row number is not equal so this is the smaller row in the q side 
So one three six is added to the final English, and we've advanced to this one. For this, row numbers are equal and column numbers are also equal. Fine. So the value will be added in the final English. So two two and three plus four is seven, and then we've advanced to this one. For this, row numbers are equal, column numbers are not equal. This column number is smaller than this one. So this element will be added. Three one one will be added. And then we will advance to this one, and then they, these two will be compared. Fine, this one and this one will be compared. For this one, row number is smaller than this one, so this will element will be added. Three, two, one, and then we will advance to this one. For this, row number and column number both are equal, so this these two elements will be added. So this will be four, one, and three plus four is seven. Then we will advance to the next nodes. If we advance from this node to the next node, P will become null. Fine, and Q will be here. So now the comparison between the P and Q is not possible. Fine, the comparison between P and Q are not possible. So if the comparison between P and Q are not possible, then what whatever nodes are remaining in the second link list, we'll add them to final link list one by one. So first this node will be added. And then this node will be added. Okay, so while Q is not null, we'll add all these elements in the final list. So inversion in the end of list three. Q dot row, Q dot column, and Q dot Value and Q will be advanced to the next node. Fine. Now, if uh, this is not the case and uh, Q Q becomes null and P does not become null, in that case, some of the nodes, some of the nodes in the first link list will be there, but there will be no node in the second link list. Fine. In that case, what we'll do, we will add the remaining elements of the first link list in the final link list. For that we also we need to have a loop while p is not equal to null. Do insertion in the end of list three. P dot row. P dot column. And p dot value. And p equals to p dot next. So at a time either of these two loops will run. Both of these loops will not run simultaneously. Okay, in this case P has become null, so the entry condition of this loop has got failed. This loop will run. If Q has become null, the entry condition of this loop will become null, and this loop only will run. Right? So either of these two will, uh, these two loops will run at a time. And finally, we will return list three, which is the counseling list. Fine. Right? So by the time the comparisons are possible, we'll compare the row and the columns of the matrices. And when the comparison is not possible, one of the linked lists has ended, and there are no nodes in that. Remaining element of the next linked list will be added one by one in the final linked list. And finally, we'll return this list. So this was the addition of two sparse matrices. Thank you.